Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Today I'm speaking about the new Garmin Mark smartwatch collection. It's a collection of five different watches and each is based around a different core activity that Garmin specializes in. They share the same 46 millimeter wide titanium case, but there's some differences in terms of the cosmetic look, as well as some of the special software that each of the watches have. Garmin Mark Collection includes software which has been created entirely by Garmin, and it builds on the old Phoenix Collection with new user interfaces, a speedier overall platform, and some new features that are really interesting. So this is the driver, the Mark driver, and it comes in a black DLC coated case. It has a special racing feature, and as you can see on the dial here, there's a racetrack. Garmin includes about 260 racetracks from around the world, or you can actually create your own. And the idea is that if you have a preloaded pre racetrack, you tell the watch where you are, and it knows using GPS where the start and stop line is so that you can time lapse seamlessly and automatically without fiddling at all. So I'd push on this pusher here, and I would go to the race function, And I don't have GPS because I'm indoors, but if I was outside, I would. And the idea is that, here we go, let's just say I would choose this map, this uh, racetrack. And it says here, cross the start line to begin because it'll automatically know that. And it'll tell me lots of useful information related to my racing. Um, I tested this out and it works really quite well. So this is the Mark driver. And this is the only one that comes on the matching bracelet that has the black DLC coated titanium links with the inside silicon so it's durable and very comfortable to wear. All the Garmin Mark watches have the ability to communicate via Bluetooth and give you uh, voice responses or notifications about various types of things like uh, completing a lap, completing a specific time, uh, countdown time or chronograph. There's a, a whole series of audio notifications that the watches can give you and that's a very cool feature that is incorporated into each of these timepieces. This is the Garmin Mark Aviator. This is the Pilot Watch version of the Mark. You can see that it has a natural titanium case and a matching bracelet. This is a unique bracelet and different than the other bracelet which comes with the Mark driver. It also has a black ceramic bezel that has a 24 hour indicator. And based upon the different dial you use, you can have GMT hands which allow you to use that to tell the time. So there's a really interesting uh, synergy between the traditional analog look of dials as well as the digital look of modern smartwatches. The Pilot has a special navigational feature which tells you lots of important information related to flying. It is something that pretty much only has interest if you're flying, but if you are a pilot or spend any time in the air, you'll find it really useful. The Garmin Mark Collection each comes with maps for all over the world built in. You can upload special maps like nautical cartography if you need those, but the watches themselves don't need to connect to a phone or anything like that in order to have full map functionality anywhere in the world. It uses the built-in GPS. Here you can see the map on the full color screen. You could navigate the map as normal or you could use it for a variety of tracking functions and navigation functions. The Garmin Mark Aviator comes with a special fly function which gives you special information that you can use while you're actually flying. You'd need to be actually flying to see this, but you can see here a variety of data. The Mark Collection includes a series of updated user interfaces which I find very useful. Here you can see things like your vertical speed, your normal speed, and a variety of other things that would be related to pilot's watches. I'm scrolling through the list of features that would be available to a pilot while they were in the middle of a trip. Right now I'm stationary, so you can't see a lot of this information or what it would do but it's exclusively there for anyone who's flying and it's only available on the Mark Aviator. This is the Garmin Mark Captain. It's the nautical version of the new Mark smartwatch and it has an attractive blue ceramic bezel on the otherwise natural titanium case. Here you can see one of the new screens that Garmin developed for the Mark collection. This is a combination screen which has a compass, altimeter, and barometer. They've done a very intelligent job of combining data on screens to make them useful and easy to read at a glance. The Garmin Mark Captain is the only watch which comes with Garmin's new nylon strap standard. Garmin worked with a special supplier to produce these thick and comfortable nylon straps. They have a cool texture to them and they also come with Garmin's special quick release system which makes it easy to take them on and off. You don't actually need to use any of the proprietary straps if you don't want to. You can use any 22 millimeter wide strap on the Garmin Mark collection. Each of the Garmin Mark watches has unique software and the Garmin Mark Hampton probably has a little bit more than most. 
You can see the variety of special features that it has. The Garmin Mark Captain has a few more than most because it is also able to connect to applicable Garmin systems that someone might have on their ship. Special to the Garmin Mark Captain is a sail race function which allows you to use a regatta timer. You activate the sail race function and here you have the regatta timer set to 5 minute countdown. It can go up to 10 minutes. There's an attractive user interface that Garmin designed especially for this. One of the special features with the regatta timer is its ability to connect to GPS and tell you more information than just a simple countdown timer. It can help you think with things like where exactly for your boat to be and to give you more information about how fast you should be going as well as when you should finally actually be at the starting line given the regatta timer. So Garmin has thus connected the world of traditional regatta timers to the modern world of smartwatches using GPS. This is the Garmin Mark Expedition. It's the outdoor and adventure version of the Garmin Mark. It has a unique bezel design with a navigational bezel and some special software. Some of that software is this particular dial. You can see that Garmin intelligently created a new dial that has these double retrograde indicators for the altimeter and the barometric pressure. The Garmin Mark Expedition special software is focused on navigation and exploring. You can see various types of pre-built activities such as climbing, trail running, hiking, and more that you can set that allow you to know information about your hike and your trip. Some of the special software on the Garmin Mark Expedition allows you to track a particular trip for weeks at a time potentially. The GPS in the watch can track your every moment, but you can set it to track your position at greater intervals which allow you to have several weeks of battery life. I'm starting a trip right now, I'm indoors, but if I wasn't indoors, it would immediately connect to a GPS satellite and it would begin tracking my position. I could set unique waypoints if I wanted to to help me get back, or the watch can automatically track my, my trip and show me on a map where I am and where I've been. Each of the Garmin Mark watches has special screens developed internally at Garmin. Some of them are really cool. For example, this is the particular compass screen on the Garmin Mark Expedition. It's a little bit different than the other compass screens. You can do things like lock a heading or various other types of navigational settings that you would want to use on the Garmin Expedition watch. They also look quite great and they're fun to play with. Garmin's design team clearly put a lot of effort into the new user interfaces in the Garmin Mark collection. Here you can see a dial designed to show the compass information, barometer, as well as an altimeter. The screen is bright, the information is easy to read, and it updates itself very quickly. It really looks like I'm looking at an actual instrument. Here you have a design that incorporates the sunrise and sunset time, as well as the twilight. You also have an indicator to show you how much sun is left in the day. It's a really great way of seeing this information at a glance. Garmin designed a special leather strap comprised of several layers for the Mark Expedition watch. You can't really see from the outside, but on the inside of the strap, it's articulated or aka ribbed, which allows it to sit around the wrist more comfortably and doesn't give you that stiff feeling that a lot of other leather straps have. The Garmin Mark Expedition is probably one of the most diverse watches in the collection in terms of what it can do. The Garmin Mark Expedition really fits into the key demographic that Garmin has been selling a lot of the smart watches to already and those are hikers and various types of outdoors enthusiasts. This is the Garmin Mark Athlete. It's the entry level model as well as the thinnest model in the new Mark smartwatch collection. It's 14 millimeters thick and has a DLC coated titanium bezel in addition to the full titanium case. What makes the Mark Athlete special is the bezel design which Garmin designed to have a recovery function on the bottom as well as a VO2 max tracker on the top. You use this analog scale in addition to digital markers in order to read the information, which makes it innovative and new. The Garmin Mark Athlete, like all Mark collection watches, focus on Garmin's specialty, which is GPS. In addition to being able to use GPS to add special functionality to the various types of tracking features, you can also generally navigate or just track where you are using the GPS and the map. This function right here allows you to start any activity, your time, but uses a map tracker in the background to plot your course. I'm not actually moving right now, but if I did this entire activity and then I stopped, I'd be able to look at a full map of where I went and be able to see it on an accompanying app. No matter what activity you're using the Garmin Mark Athlete to track you on, it's going to use GPS to 
plot your course on the map, as well as your speed and distance. Garmin has high hopes for the Mark smartwatch collection. It's attempting to compete directly with traditional luxury sport watches and not just other high-end smartwatches. I'm very impressed with what the Garmin has done with this Mark athlete and the rest of the Mark collection timepieces. They're well made, they're comfortable, the screens are legible, and they're really starting to hit their own design language in terms of some of the custom screens and user interfaces. I'm looking forward to talking more about the Garmin Mark collection in the future, and you can see more about the Garmin Mark on theblocktowatch.com. Thanks.